Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a watercolor brushstroke border to an image in Photoshop. Let's get started. So here's our source image and the first thing that I want to do is double click it in the layers palette to unlock it. It's going to ask me to rename it but I'm just going to hit OK. Next I'm going to come down and create a new layer and using the paint bucket tool I'm going to fill that layer with white. Then I'm just going to drag that layer to the bottom in the layers palette. Next I'll select our image layer and give it a layer mask. Then I'm going to press Ctrl I to invert that mask which hides our image. Next I'm going to come over here and choose the rectangle tool and press X to flip my background and foreground colors. You want to make sure that you have the mode set to pixels up here in the options for the rectangle tool. Then with my layer mask selected I'm going to draw a rectangle in the middle of my image leaving a little border around the edges. That white rectangle will reveal part of our image, leaving the rest of it hidden. Next I'm going to come over and select the brush tool. Now I already have these watercolor brushes loaded in and you can find them in the project files. So I'm going to choose one of my watercolor brushes and press the left square bracket key to shrink it down a bit. So with my layer mask still selected and using the color white, I'm going to stamp this brush onto a few different parts of my image, overlapping the white border and the actual image itself. You can see that it adds a nice watercolor effect to the edge. So I'm going to come up and choose my next watercolor brush and resize it and continue this process. Again I'm going to come up and select the next brush and keep painting. I'll just keep repeating this process until I have all the edges of my image painted over. If you need to, you can come into the brush palette and rotate your brushes around to make them align with the sides of your image a little bit better. Once you've got most of your edges covered, you want to come up and choose a soft round brush. I'm going to resize it and make it pretty small and then I'm going to zoom in on my document. And you can see these hard edges that we want to get rid of. So I'm going to shrink my brush down till it's just a little bit bigger than that line and start painting white to blend in my original selection and all the watercolor brushes that I just painted. This will help give us a nice smooth transition between our image and our background. Once you've blended all those edges in, your effect is pretty much done. You can use this technique with any kind of brush set, not necessarily watercolor or paint brushes. Since we're using layer masks, you can always go back and make tweaks to any areas that you don't quite like. You can also set the blend mode of your image layer to multiply, and then add some kind of subtle texture to your background. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.